Hey Kimmy, what's up? Um, I thought I'd make a video for you teaching you how to play a bit of guitar. I'm not that great myself, but I have a few little tricks that give the illusion of me being better than I actually am. Trick one, power chords are your best friend. A lot of bands actually use power chords. Mayday Parade, Blink-182, Matchbox 20, Matchbook Romance. They don't sound that good by themselves. Once you mix it with drums and bass and other things like synthesizers and stuff like that, whatever you want, it can actually come across with a really cool sound. I thought I'd teach you how to make a power chord. So to make a power chord, usually you'll use the E string, the A string and the D string. You put your first finger on any fret on the E string, then on the A string you put your third finger two frets higher, and then on the D string you put your fourth finger also two frets higher than the E string. For example, we've got a fifth fret, seventh fret, seventh fret. Easy chord. And then you can play that anywhere. So, yeah. The other way to play it is just to put your first finger on a fret and then to bar off the other two. So, the other thing that I wanted to teach you how to do, which is used in a lot of metal music, is you just just tune this E string down. To a D. So usually when you're tuning you go 5, you go on the 5th fret, and you go, but obviously on this one, it's the 7th fret. So obviously on this one, you go to the 7th fret instead of the 5th because you're a tone lower. And since you sing and stuff, I'm assuming you know what I'm talking about, hopefully. So what you do here is basically instant power chord. You don't even have to press any of the frets. So often what I do is I just I'll play an open E power chord. Basically it's really good if you have trouble playing like proper chords and singing at the same time. I think it just makes everything a lot easier. A lot of metal hardcore bands use drop D and pretend that they're better than they actually are. For example, Parkway Drive. I love Parkway Drive, don't get me wrong, but they use drop D. Not that it's a bad thing necessarily, like they're using a musical instrument to their advantage and they make an incredible sound by using that. So I'm going to stop moving my hands around because I feel like Twisted Tim. Those are just two tips that I've discovered that just make me sound better than I actually am. To see more power chord action, I'll probably be posting a new video in the next couple of days. Thanks, Kimmy. Have fun. Or shut your mouth and pretend you enjoy it. Think of all the money you've got. Yeah, yeah.